what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to a Call of Duty Warzone Season 4 video. Now, I've always been a big fan of assault rifles when it comes to Call of Duty. It's the role I filled back when I played professionally and still to this day is my go-to pick when it comes to weapons. And that's probably the reason I always get super excited when a new assault rifle gets added into the game, which is what we've got with the CR-56 AMAX or the futuristic Galil. I have to admit, I think they have done an awful job with naming the two new guns for season four, the CR-56 and the Fennec. But enough about the terrible names. In this video, I am going to give you the best CR-56 car setup and loadout, along with my top five tips for the weapon for you to be able to pick up the most amount of kills with it and win as many games of Warzone as possible. So before I show you all of that, 81.7% of you watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. So if you are new, please do subscribe for more Modern Warfare Season 4 content. And I promise you, you'll become a better player. So the first thing that we've got to do when we take a look at a brand new gun that's been added into Warzone is the gun's stats. The gun is described in game as a lightweight 7.62 full auto assault rifle, which is compact and powerful, built exclusively for military use. The standard issue rifle is deadly at mid-range combat and easily configured for a variety of assault tactics. Firstly, from my experience with the AMAX, this is what the AK-47 should have always been. And honestly, with the build I'm about to show you, competes within the top three assault rifles in the game and is also a lot of fun to use. Now, the AMAX has a fire rate of 620 rounds per minute. So it's a lot slower than the Growl, which fires at 730 rounds per minute, and the M4A1, which is one of the other better assault rifles in the game at 800 rounds per minute. But because the AMAX uses 7.62 ammo rather than 5.56, it deals 56 damage for a headshot, 42 to the body, and then 35 to the limbs, which means you can kill a fully armored opponent in just five bullets to the head and six to the chest, which makes it pretty damn powerful. The downside is because of that extra power, there tends to be a bit of extra kick with the gun, which is to be expected. But like I said, my build helps you easily deal with that, and it's also got quite a slow reload time of 2.82 seconds. And really, I feel like that's where the gun has been balanced to not be too overpowered. So if you're not accurate, you can be punished by players that are pushing you aggressively, as you may not have time to get your reload off. This is legitimately a contender against the Growl in those medium range gunfights. At longer distances, it may struggle a little bit as it's not a laser like the Growl, but I've been having an absolute blast with it. And something else to remember with the AMAX is the damage drop off is also pretty low. So you can still kill enemies at a distance with only a few bullets as long as you manage to recoil and hit your target. But that is why you need this class setup that I believe to be the best build for the CR-56 that you can have, especially if you're a controller player. So the first attachment you're going to want on the AMAX is everyone's favorite monolithic suppressor, which is going to give you sound suppression as well as increased damage range, but reducing your aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness. Next, you want to add a barrel attachment, and you'll want to be using the XRK Zodiac S440, which increases damage range, bullet velocity, as well as improving your recoil control, which is very, very important. This, once again, will decrease your aim down sight speed and movement speed. Now, the AMAX is one of the first assault rifles that I don't use the TAC laser on, because instead, you're going to want to be using an optic. And the optic of choice you'll want to be using is the VLK 3x scope. Now, there's a few reasons you want to be using this scope, and one of the biggest is a game mechanic abuse. Using the VLK 3x scope actually allows you to take advantage more of the game's inbuilt aim assist, which is what makes the AMAX, I feel, better for controller players than mouse and keyboard, as you'll find it far easier to control the AMAX's recoil, especially at a distance, to be able to take out enemies super quickly. It's also a super clean sight, which is really easy to use. Sadly, if you use the iron sight and put the tack laser on instead, you'll notice straight away that you tend to struggle a little bit more at those medium range gunfights, where you'd normally absolutely beam an opponent if you were using the Grau's iron sight. But that's also to be expected as the Amax is a 7.62 ammo weapon, which naturally 
has more recoil. So make sure that you use that scope. It's crucial to this weapon's success. Then for the underbarrel, I use the Commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability with a small punishment to movement speed. And then the final attachment you're going to want on the CR-56 Max is the 45 round mag so you can comfortably take down multiple enemies at a time. Now, I've played around with the attachments a lot since this gun came out and can honestly say this is comfortably the best setup you can have for it right now if you're wanting to do consistently well in Warzone. So you've got the best class setup for the AMAX, but what you now need to make sure you have is the best loadout for it. Now, there are two routes that you can go down depending on what your playstyle is. The best overall loadout would be to pair the AMAX with an SMG, as the game's meta at the moment is definitely an assault rifle SMG combo, and you have two choices. You can use an MP5, which is one of the best SMGs in the game for a while now, where you'll want to use the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, the FTAC Collapsible Stock, Stipple Grip Tape, the 45 round mag, and then finally, the Merc Foregrip. That is quite possibly one of the best MP5 builds in the game for you to use. Or if you want to keep using the brand new guns in Modern Warfare Season 4, you can also go ahead and use the Fennec, aka the Vector. Now, on the Fennec, you'll want to be using the ZLR Deadfall Barrel, the TAC Laser, the Merc Foregrip, the 40 round drum mag, and then Sleight of Hand. You can also go ahead and change the tack laser for stippled grip tape also if you want to. So go ahead and use either one of those two SMGs. Then for perks, I use double time as I think one of the most important things in Warzone is map position and double time is going to allow you to get map position over your opponents more frequently. Then you of course need to be using overkill so you can have the SMG or a sniper, which I'll get onto in a second, then amped so you can switch between your guns quickly to suit the situation that you find yourself in. Then I use a heartbeat sensor and a C4. But if you're someone that also likes to snipe, you might want to pair the AMAX with this AX50 build that I've been using recently. The Molifix Suppressor, the 32 inch factory barrel, the tank laser, the Syngard Arms Assassin stock, and then the FMJ perk, which is honestly a lot of fun to use. So you now have the best class setup for the CR-56 AMAX or the Galil, along with a couple of possible loadout options that will definitely help you do well in Call of Duty Warzone. But I also wanted to share with you my top five tips to help you do well as an assault rifle player so you can get more kills and win more games. Now, this first tip isn't necessarily one that I'm super happy about, but it's definitely something that you need to be thinking about when it comes to doing well with the AMAX. And it's also the reason you're using the VLK scope and it's to abuse the game's aim assist. It's something you'll notice every top controller player take advantage of, and one of the reasons you can see in gameplay that you're easily able to snap onto opponents and hit your shots. So to do that, what you want to do is hover your crosshairs over your opponent before aiming down sights, and then snap into your aim down sight, and that'll lock your aim into that aim assist sweet spot, which is quite a large zone when you've got the VLK scope. My next tip for getting the most out of the AMAX is to remember, as an assault rifle player, positioning is key. You don't have the mobility of an SMG player, so you need to make sure every gunfight that you're getting into, you have some kind of advantage on an opponent. Whether that's using high ground, such as on top of a building or the crest of a hill, or using the environment around you like walls and rocks or even trees, it's honestly such an important part of doing well with an assault rifle like the AMAX. Watch every top player and they'll rarely not have a positional advantage in a gunfight. Now, one other big thing to be aware of with the AMAX is that it does have more recoil than you'll be used to, even with this build. And because of that, you won't be able to just hold down the trigger and not have to worry about recoil like you do with the growl, for example. And for that exact reason, you'll want to, when shooting at a distance, make sure that you're burst firing so you can hit your shots at those longer distances. Sadly, it's just one of the weaknesses with the AMAX is those long distance gunfights. It does perform best at mid range, so keep that in mind. Another thing players don't take advantage of enough in Warzone is mounting. This is especially important with a gun like the AMAX that has a lot of recoil and isn't as much of a laser as the Growl or the M13. So if you mount, 
Combine that with the aim assist you gain from the VLK scope and the damage per bullet of the AMAX, you can drop players so quickly, especially if you land those headshots, which makes it one of the best guns in the game. And as I said earlier, this is what the AK-47 should have been when the game launched. And then my final tip to do well when you're using an assault rifle is don't get caught sprinting because your sprint to fire speed when using an assault rifle like the AMAX is so slow. And if you come up against someone that is pre-aiming or ready to start shooting or even an SMG player that you're not expecting, you're going to get taken out. So something I do is whenever I come up to a potential danger point, I make sure to come out of sprint and get my first look of the area when I'm in my hip fire stance. Also, another little bonus tip, remember to do things like jump shotting and drop shotting. Anything that throws off an opponent is going to help give you an edge. But the AMAX is a lot of fun to use, especially as it packs a punch. But there we have it. That's the best setup for the CR56 AMAX or the Galil, whatever you want to call it. Where do you think it stands in the ranking for assault rifles? Let me know down in the comments below.